Bo Nix's Auburn career has been an up and down one over the past few seasons. The former five-star recruit won the starting job as a freshman and entered the season with high expectations. So far, Nix has not really lived up to those expectations. With a brand new head coach, Nix will look to have a strong year as he tries to engrave his name in the Auburn record books as a Tiger great, like he did in high school. But who is Bo Nix? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up and coming collegiate and pro athletes. If there's a player you want to see in future episodes, let me know in the comments section below. Bo Nix was born on February 5th and went to high school in Pinson, Alabama, a town right outside Birmingham and about three hours away from the Auburn campus. Bo's father, Patrick, played quarterback at Auburn from 1992 to 1995 and served as his head football coach in high school. From a young age, Bo wanted to play quarterback at Auburn just like his father did. Patrick helped train and prepare his son from a young age. As a sophomore, Nix led Scottsboro High School to a 9-0 start in the number one rank in the Class 5A state rankings, the first time for Scottsboro since 1967. At the time, he had thrown for 1,382 yards, 14 touchdowns and 2 interceptions, while also rushing for 852 yards and 12 touchdowns. After the season, Bo's father took the head coaching job at Pinson and Bo would transfer there. The jump to 6A did not affect the future Tiger as he threw for 290 yards and 5 total touchdowns in a 47-13 win over McCalla. Early in his junior season, Nix would fracture his wrist and it was unknown if he was going to be able to return before the end of the season. He was able to recover quickly, returning later that year. During the state quarterfinals, he threw for 400 yards and 7 touchdowns along with the game-winning 2-point conversion to win 51-50 and went on to win the state championship, the first time in school history for Pinson. Nix finished the season throwing for 2,872 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. In the season opener of his senior year, Pinson would lose to 7A state champs Hoover, Nix's only loss at Pinson as a starter, and Nix shined the rest of the season and led Pinson to the state title game once again, where they won 26-17 behind Nix's 306 passing yards, 2 touchdowns and 2 interceptions, and his 66 yards on the ground and a touchdown. After the game, Nix thanked his father saying, I told him thanks. All the days I wanted to hug him after the game, but couldn't. All the days upcoming that I'm going to want to hug him and can't. Maybe wanting him on the sideline telling me what to do. My whole life the last five years, he's ultimately told me what to do. I've listened to him every time. It's surreal. It's a special thing. Nix finished his senior season throwing for 3,496 yards and 48 touchdowns and added 351 yards and 6 touchdowns on the ground. He was named the NHSCA Football Player of the Year, becoming the first Alabama player to win the award. Eric Hess, the executive director of NHSCA, told USA Today, Bo is an excellent example of what this award stands for. He has excelled as much in the classroom as he has on the football field. We congratulate Bo on the outstanding high school career and wish him success at Auburn. While Jeff Fisher, the founder of the High School Football America and the head of the nominating committee told USA Today, in a state that has produced so many great high school football players, Bo's name is near the top. His arm and his legs drove defensive coordinators crazy throughout his career. He set all-time state records while still maintaining a GPA above 4.0, which makes him a perfect choice for this honor. Bo was a three-time All-State player and named Alabama's Mr. Football and Gatorade Player of the Year in 2018. He finished his high school career accumulating over 12,000 total yards, the most ever at the time by an Alabama player, with over 10,000 passing yards and over 2,000 rushing yards and 161 total touchdowns. Coming out of high school, Bo Nix was a 5-star recruit according to 24-7 Sports Composite. He was the number one dual threat quarterback, 3rd best player in Alabama, and 33rd best player nationally. He received over 18 different Division I offers from the likes of Alabama, Auburn, Clemson, Florida, and Oklahoma. It was not hard to figure out where the Alabama native would go as he would follow in his father's footsteps and commit to play quarterback at Auburn. According to former director of scouting for 24-7 Sports, Barton Simmons, Nix was projected to be a future day two pick with the comparison to Trace McSorley. Simmons writes, big enough quarterback with some stockiness that looks capable of holding up to some hits on the next level. Very instinctive pass that has creativity as a playmaker. Shows sudden movement and reactive quickness in the pocket both to avoid rushers and deliver the football. Quick thinker, possesses light feet with good energy. Extremely accurate, particularly on short and intermediate throws. More athletic than you realize and can be a threat in the run game. Does not have an overpowering arm and can float downfield big throws. Has strong football pedigree, looks like a multi-year starter and impact quarterback that fits today's game well. 
potential early round NFL draft pick. Nix decided to enroll early at Auburn and compete for the starting job right away. In the spring, he struggled a bit, but was able to turn it around during fall camp. He was comfortable in the offense during the fall camp, beating out Joey Gatewood for the starting job. Nix became the first true freshman to start a season opener for Auburn in 73 years, with the last player to do so being Travis Tidwell in 1946. Nix spoke on the situation saying, It's a dream come true. I've always wanted to play quarterback at Auburn. It's a goal of mine that I've had for a long, long time, as far as I can remember. All the way back to throwing the football in the backyard with my dad, I wanted to play quarterback at Auburn. So it's just an awesome moment. You honestly couldn't write it any better. Head coach Gus Malzahn told AP News, I think he had a very good fall camp. I think there's a lot of intangibles that go with that. But at the end of the day, it's just the consistency and giving us the best chance of being successful. And when Nix was told about the last true freshman to start, he said, that stat is pretty special. To me, it's something I was shooting for. It was a goal of mine. Like I said, and honestly, that stuff, it goes to show how good the team welcomed me in and how much they helped me get on the field kind of quickly. It was a good situation. I came in in a good situation and our coaches, Coach Malzahn and Coach Dillingham, they really did a really good job of getting me prepared quickly. Nix and Auburn had an up and down 2019 season, opening the season with a win over Oregon where Nix threw for 177 yards, two touchdowns and two interceptions, completing 41.9% of his passes, but broke a freshman record later in the season for touchdown passes and set a new record for freshman completions against Stanford. The following week, he led Auburn to a win over Alabama, but lost to Minnesota in the bowl game. Nix finished his freshman year throwing for 2,542 yards, 16 touchdowns and 6 interceptions, while also rushing for 313 yards and 7 touchdowns. Auburn finished the season going 9-4 playing 7 top 25 teams, 6 of which finished in the top 10. The Auburn defense helped carry the team and Nix struggled on the road. Going into the 2020 season, Nix entered the season with a lot of expectations around him. Chad Morris was now running the show on offense and many expected Nix to improve. He struggled on the road once again, finishing the season throwing for 2,415 yards, 12 touchdowns and 7 interceptions, while rushing for 388 yards and 7 touchdowns on the ground. He finished the year throwing 8 touchdowns and 1 interception at home, but 3 touchdowns to 6 interceptions on the road. Throughout his career, he has thrown for 15 touchdowns and 1 interception at home, and 11 touchdowns to 12 interceptions on the road. Auburn replaced their coaching staff going into 2021, bringing in Brian Harsons as head football coach and Mike Bobo as the offensive coordinator. Bobo worked with Nix's mechanics, decision making, and pre-snap reads, but during the first scrimmage, Nix and Finley both struggled with decision making according to Harsons. In the season opener against Akron, Nix played well completing 20 of his 22 passes for 275 yards and 3 touchdowns in a 60-10 win at Jordan Hare Stadium. Jordan Palmer believes Nix is poised for a breakout year telling 24-7 sports, I've been around Bo a lot the last couple off-seasons coming out of high school. Bo is among one of the best dual-threat quarterbacks. He lost at the Elite 11 Finals to Spencer Rattler, and he's right up there as one of the best quarterbacks in the country. I don't think what people recognize is that his freshman year, his strength coach told me he was the top 5 fastest guy on the team in a 10-yard split. So what we haven't seen from Bo Nix yet is just how electric as a runner. It's because I think that previous offense and system with Gus Malzahn, they had a lot of success there. I don't think Bo was able to establish himself as a pass first then run, which is when the opportunities can present themselves and you can get that open space. Designed runs can work, but you're funneling the defense towards the run. It's when everyone else is going vertical and the quarterback decides to take off that you see big runs. I think you'll see more of those from Bo and see how athletic he is. From an arm talent standpoint, he's ready to rock. I love the new system he has there. Off the field, Nix hosted a football camp where he went to high school for 3rd graders to 12th graders and signed an NIL deal with Melio Sweet Tea. It will be interesting to see how Nix does this season, but with a strong season he could be a name being thrown around in the 2022 NFL Draft class. What do you think? How will Bo Nix do this year for Auburn? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.